They'll be calling you a radical. Back to the fish. Back to the fish. We're seeing the freelance fish industry, these farmer market so-called fishers come out in Seattle. Gets reported by NPR that they went out and did a freelance study of their own. Well, where have you been for 1,046? I did videos right after Fukushima happened and incorporated them into the economic thesis over and over and over. Why is not the fishing industry and the freelance fishermen and the fishermen going psychotic? Why are they not going crazy? Which they were in Japan, which they are. The fishermen know they've been desecrated there. 15, 20th generation fishermen, same here. So now it's reported that National Public Radio reports, all oh, these guys at this far as Seattle, they went out and tested seven fish. And only two showed up with low level. Let me tell you, if two fish out of seven have low level of freaking radiation in them, which that's what they said, we're, the Pacific is so genocide and so fucked if that's true. Say, sushi, should you, if anybody who's eating sushi right now has got to be out of their fucking minds. Yeah. Oh, well, I got it from the Atlantic. Yeah, that nice disbursement they've been fucking spraying over BP for all this fucking time. I don't talk about the black and yellow journalistic whores that they are who are going to rot in the lowest form of hell, the media, for this simple fact. Covering up the protests in Japan. I've been closely, closely tied with the populace of Japan. Before I go on this rant, I want to make sure I tell everybody I will be broadcasting live from Knoxville, Tennessee, next Tuesday on my radio show at the sentencing of Meg Rice. Live. <coughs> on the steps of the courthouse in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'll be lying there at 4 o'clock in Knoxville at the airport at 4 o'clock Eastern on the 25th. I'll be there for several days. Hope to see a lot of you there. But the people that refuse to report, NBC, ABC, CBS, Reuters, all of them, they refuse to Broadcast. You think about this. Massive, gigantic protests have gone in Japan the whole time. Gigantic. I've done everything I can to get it out there. They blocked them. They put people in jail. Hearings over there. Our media has action. I mean, you think about that. What they've done to the Japanese populace, Reuters, BBC, ABC, NBC, just for the fact alone. I mean, millions and millions have protested every freaking week, every day, the entire time this has gone on. You know, and you want to talk about nuclear and the radiation is horrific, and it's so horrific. Nuclear fission going on the first time in human history. Let's talk about the other four elements of nuclear. One, it's not magic, it's uranium mines. It's the most filthy, disgusting freaking mining. The footprint, carbon footprint is 10,000 times dirty coal, and dirty coal is hideous. This conversation is in 1971. We have solar. Two, there's no answer for the spent fuel, and we know the dry cast that Allison McFarland is approved, and the NRC, the nuclear rally cheerleaders are supposed to protect us, who are actually a weapon against us. Fact, we see the dry cast in number three. We see what is happening. We see the the dry cast is leaking. It has been the whole time. Dry cast doesn't know. There's no answer for the nuclear waste. No answer. It's piled up everywhere in every nook and cranny for 40 years all over. It's the greatest, not terrorist threat, real threat. We've dodged bullets in the U.S. The fact of Chernobyl, the fact of Fukushima, they said this could never happen. The fact of the real estate that is taking out of the equation forever. Diablo Canyon. I'll be there at Valentine's Day the 14th. We'll organize that protest. Here's my itinerary so people know. One, first stop. I'll be landing in Knoxville, Tennessee on the 25th, the evening of the 25th. Be in Knoxville at the rally on the 27th. I'll be broadcasting on my radio show live from the courtroom as Megan Rice is being sentenced. Then, next, I need to get up to Missoula, Montana. Uh, activist there is going to let me use her van to help put together my post-ignorance project, my three-year anniversary symposium. I, she's, I need to get up there. I need to get that van somehow. Third, Diablo Canyon, Valentine's Day. We'll set up on the pier down there at the Avalon the people who covered up the protests in Japan, may God have mercy on your souls. What you did to the Japanese people? The people that have covered up the truth of Fukushima as the first few days, we know the air and monitoring, water and air monitoring at Berkeley's finally released their data and they'll lie their ass off, say they released it. Oh no, they kept it secret. I was on them every day, all day. They're saying all these major freaking levels in Sacramento, they blow them off here, they blow them off there. They slant so hard. But let's remember this, Richard Miller proved this in 1986, right here, right here where I'm standing. He took the mapping of 
the open air tests, all 350 of them, and where it rained, they kept good maps. Some of the heaviest pockets of leukemia over the next 20 years, he proved, were in places like Illinois, upstate New York. Same thing with the first five, six days. As the plume went over us, I called it the nuclear genocide right off the get. I called it the Pacific Genocide. It was the first five days. Where did it rain the hardest the first five days? Seattle, Washington got hammered. Oregon, the people should be scared. And the fishermen now, the fishermen now, where was the fishing industry the whole time? Same thing, kick the can, in denial. The fishing industry is desecrated. How can you eat fish out of Pacific? How can you, as they keep going to this fat porky pig prick at Stony Brick, I'm gonna, oh my God, what? That's a terrorist right there. He has no data, there is no data. Because marine biologists, we have learned, one thing we've learned through this, marine biologists are welfare queens, the greatest welfare queens in history. To become a marine biologist in this country, we've proved this, we found this out. There's hundreds of them making 200,000, you do the map. You make a couple hundred thousand dollars a year for 30, 40 years of your career. We've learned. You get a name and a title and federally funded, you never work a day of your life. You don't do anything. It's free money, it's welfare queens. The only ones that are greater than them are defense contractors, welfare queens. The defense mechanism that pay the Dragon Slayer, Blackwater, Halliburton, all of them supposedly were protecting Y-12 and let an 83-year-old nun just walk in there and say, hey, peaceful activists. As time and history looks back at this incredible nutcase, radical, fucked up time that we destroyed America from 2000 to present, the military coups, they look back on it. We went from a surplus to 20 trillion reeling deficit. We destroyed the freaking, the 9-11 lie, the Bin Laden war machine, the thrashing of the United States dollar, the one thumbprint we're really gonna look back as everybody who told the truth was jailed or killed. Michael Hastings killed. Aaron Swartz killed. The young Hammond boy in prison. He didn't even do anything wrong. Megan Rice, an 83-year-old nun, the daughter of Dr. Rice. Dorothy Day's protege. Everybody who looted the country in a hardcore, dramatic way, to Cheney Halliburton, given a heart from an executed Chinese prisoner, given billions. They're gonna look back at this and say, what the fuck? And you fucking journalists who blocked from reporting the gigantic protest, finally Amy's went over there, fucking too late, fuck yeah, too fucking late. You wanna fucking show up a thousand and forty-five fucking days later? Fuck you all make me sick. You know, I tried my best the whole time. I protested every day about the protesters over there on my Facebook, every fucking outlet I had. And you want to participate in this? We have some great, you know my line, Dogma Snuggie. Eric Jordan, the world-class designer, is who designed my the Post Ignorance Project website for me, and he's participated and helped me out. That's him. He's designed those beautiful shirts. We have shirts available on the Post Ignorance Project link on uh, our Facebook page and the web page is they're not made by slaves. I mean, well-paid workers. I don't participate in you, you, you for easy. No, you fuckers participate. I fight against the you usury. Just like Megan Rice fights against the fucking real terrorists, not the fake ones. You media whores that refuse to report the massive, massive, gigantic protests in Japan and allow them to jail people for simply telling the truth. You fuckers who participated in jailed people in the U.S. and killed and murdered people in the United States. May God have mercy on your fucking souls. I'll be broadcasting live from Knoxville, Tennessee at the courthouse on the steps, live as she sentenced on Tuesday on my radio show. As far as the fish goes up now, California, how can you eat it? Two out of seven, he says, low level, ha, <laughs> low level. This is not your father's radiation. This is fuctonium, as I call it. We don't even know what it is. And the Marine, nobody's going to tell us. Fish swim. The ocean currents, Japanese current, California current, some of the swiftest in the world. Fukushima's been pouring. Nuclear fission of epic, epic hardcore proportions going to the Pacific Ocean for thousands of years. And you think that it has got contaminated the sea life and the fish? Anybody that fucking thinks that is the definition of fucking insanity. Stay fucking unfucking tuned. These fuckers want to lie to us and don't want to fucking tell us the truth. And the fishing industry, fuck, I would be so outraged. I'd be suing the fuck, but oh fuck, we can't even get attorneys. I've been trying to get attorneys to sue on so many grounds, so many levels on this, my leukemia. I got post Fukushima. Fuck, they're fucking think they're on the winning team. They're fucking scum. Media fucking black and yellow whores. Fucking scum. May God have mercy on all your fucking souls. Stay in tune.